Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a process video where I am working in the March collection. For those of you who missed the video I shared a couple days ago, I was doing a little catching up, so I will link that down below and not make a lot of you who have already watched that video go through the pain of listening to me all over again. So if you missed that and you wanna hear where I'm at and what I've been up to, I'll link that in the description box down below. So here in this video, I am just going through the process of making some tucks and pockets to add to that Home Sweet Home journal that I had been working in. It feels like months ago now, but it was March. It was actually just March, which was really just, you know, a, I guess now May is almost over. So really it's been a few months ago at this point. So that's probably why it feels like it's been six months ago. I haven't done any crafting since then, so. It's been a little painful, but that's okay. Yes, so I just wanted to share the process videos with you guys, but mostly I wanted to reconnect because I've been missing all of you so much. So anyway, I digress. I am making just some basic pockets and tucks. I had done this collection a little bit different. Instead of going through and doing process videos on the pages, or sometimes I create items for the collection. This time I had just kind of gone through and filmed some of the basic things that I do to get started in one of these journal collections. I had thought it would be helpful to just see some of the very basic stuff. It's not always trying to be super creative. Sometimes we just need to get basic elements for the journal. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is kind of the process I go through most of the time. So like I mentioned, I am just making basic tuck spots and basic pockets, and I'm going to add them to the journal in this video. Also, if you missed that previous video, I had made some tags with a vintage canning label, and I will be adding those at some point. And then there's also a previous video that I had posted back in March or April where I was getting started in the collection. So if you guys wanna watch that, I'll link that in the description box down below as well. And something I didn't mention in the previous video, I had a design team. I have a design team, I didn't have one. <laughs> but there's a group of wonderfully creative ladies that are working that have worked in this collection, I should say. And I will link their channels down below because you will want to go give them a watch if you're interested. This was a super cute collection and I had a lot of fun working in it. I am super excited about the next collection. I actually already have the papers on hand and for the next two collections, I would say moving into the fall as well. Oh, I didn't mention it and I have had some of you asking. so. At this point, you know, I'm hoping that we will be moving around the end of June if all goes well. If it is tough and, you know, some of the selling, it, I don't know, if there's issues with the closing at all, it might be July. My plan at this point is to have a collection for August. That seems so far away, but I know time is going to fly for me and I will need time you know, to actually move in and find my stuff and get going on the collection. So we'll see if it's August. That's my goal. Even if it happens to be, you know, somewhere in the middle of August or the end of August, I don't know. I'm going to get it up as soon as I possibly can. And I'm hoping that that's in August and not September. But I'm really excited about it. I had ordered some of the new Maggie Holmes what is her new collection name now? Because I've been very disconnected from the crafting community here for the last few months. But it's her newest collection that had all the florals in it. I know it's not Fresh Bouquet. I know that's a different collection. And I know it's not Garden Party. I'm not going to sit here and keep guessing. <sighs> anyway, it's her newest one. And I'm very excited. The florals are gorgeous. So it will be, you know, a garden floral butterfly type theme that's beautifully summer so yeah I'm really hoping to have that up for August and then I have some beautiful paper for the fall already as well so I am looking forward to that and I am very excited to eventually get back into the groove of things so I just wanted to let you guys know for those of you who are curious so here I'm just adding 
some of these bags. I think I made that bag in the last video. I can see some of the tags I made in the previous video as well. And I'm just moving through the journal here and adding some of these elements. All right, you guys, and that is it for this video. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.